Hi Pisces, it's Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. We are here to do your, um, your November, if you want to label it. If you have to put a date on it, it's November. Um, tarot reading, okay? It is a beautiful day in Colorado, hence the Saturday, right? I've been out in the mountains walking the dogs and doing some things and looking a little crazy, so I apologize, Pisces. But I'm sitting next to the window. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's 70 degrees, 70 degrees down here in the valley and the mountains over there have just snow caps all over them. It's just an amazing, beautiful day. So anyway, we're sitting by the window. I hope that the neighbors don't start doing crazy things and interrupt my reading, but I just absolutely must have um, some fresh air and some light. I try to do it outside in the backyard, but um, it, the wind, there was just too much wind and my cards were like flying all over the place. So Pisces, this is for you for November, okay? Oh, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me always at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Okay, Pisces. For the collective of Pisces, uh, the chariot, right? Start out with the chariot. Major Arcana, right out the box, right? Major Arcana. Major Arcanas are not a choice, okay? They are, they are um, um, put in our path and they require us to act on them, okay? So it's not a choice whether you take action and move forward. It's being required of you. The, the, the pieces of the puzzle have been put in place to orchestrate your steps, and now you are being required to take some action, okay? This is either you being required to take action or somebody taking action towards you that is going to require a, a, a return reaction. Okay. So something, something is happening. Something, somebody's coming in, something's moving. Something is moving in your life, Pisces. What this action is, is, is it is momentum to bring you out of heartbreak. Okay. This card, the three of swords in reverse is about having optimism. It's about forgiveness and it's about coming out of heartbreak, sorrow, and pain. So there's some kind of action that is going to bring healing to a situation, to you, to a situation. What is this? What is this? Well, whatever this, whatever this chariot is right here, requires a decision. So either you or another character in this reading is making some kind of a decision. See, it's a general reading. I can't tell you. I can't. There's millions of Pisces in the world. I can't tell you who's doing what, where, when, why, and how. I just have to do the and if or buts, right? Right? So action that is going to require a decision, okay? This being a major arcana, this is a decision that is um, going to change the direction of your life. This is the Archangel Gabriel blowing the humpet, the humpet, the trumpet on judgment day, resurrecting the dead from the grave, right? This is a rebirth. This is a black and white decision. There is no going back from this. You cannot retract. You cannot change it, okay? So this movement, this action is requiring some kind of decision, either on your part or on the part of anybody else that's involved in this reading. This decision, this rebirth is brought on by truth. There is some kind of truth that is spoken that gives you absolute 100% mental clarity, okay? It answers all your questions, it, it answers all of the ambiguity, and it gives you absolute crystal clear clarity about the situation. Some kind of truth is spoken. To the Ace of Pentacles, about an opportunity that was lost, about a lost opportunity. To the devil that probably had some lying, cheating, stealing, sneaky behavior around it, okay? This devil, I want to point out, is also the second lover's card. You see that right there? See that? Those, those are two lovers chained to the foot of the devil, right? The devil is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth, okay? So there is some kind of mental clarity that's coming into you about a lost opportunity that has to do 
I think before we even read all of these cards, I think it has to do with some kind of significant relationship in your life that went bad. Okay. That's what I think. Some kind of significant relationship in your life went bad, causing the lost opportunity. And the world comes in next to it and talks about personal closure. So forward movement out of pain, requiring some kind of massive decision because of truth about a lost opportunity that had to do with some kind of toxicity related to a significant relationship in your life. And it brings personal closure with the world in reverse. There is some communication. So this chariot that was back here is, is the movement because of communication. There's some kind of communication coming into you. This is a princess. This is a page, right? So um, it's either little communication, short, little, a text message, um, some kind of... Um, it's not a big, long heart-to-heart -heart conversation. It's not a big, long telephone call. It's something small but significant, significant that comes into you. <clears throat> the Prince of Cups. This is a card about somebody being in touch with their emotions, in touch with their intuition, and prepared to share, okay? prepared to share. This is a slow moving energy because see, he has that cup, right? And if he moves um, quickly, he's going to spill the feelings that are in that cup. Unless of course he has a walking horse. And if he has a walking horse or a gated horse, he can go as fast as he want to and drink as much as he want to because nothing's going to spill. But that's for the horse people out there. If y'all are horse people, you understand what I mean. So he cannot move quickly with this, with this cup of love. He has to move slowly. And as he's moving, he's becoming more and more in touch with his emotions. And he's getting more and more excited to share feelings. And I keep saying he, because that is a dude in the picture. Okay. Put it where it goes. Doesn't matter to me, but it's a dude in the picture. And this dude in the picture is prepared to share well thought out emotions. That's what the communication is. Somebody is sharing emotions with you, Pisces. The alchemist manifestation. They want to manifest an emotional exchange with you. That's what this is about. They want to manifest an emotional exchange to the King of Wands. Check this out. King of Wands is a dick. Okay. He is the king of wands in reverse, not upright. Okay. King of wands in reverse. He's a dick. And I, this is an R rated channel. I swear if you don't like it, then either hang around or don't. Okay. So the king of wands, right? He is, um, arrogant and selfish and jealous and insecure and, um, ruthless, right? Expects perfectionism. He's the classic narcissist. If we want to put a label on him. Okay. But bottom line is that he's an asshole. And this person right here is this, this Prince of Cups, okay? So what this is is an apology that's coming in from the dickhead. It could be a, a chick, okay? Chicks can be dickheads too, okay? So it's coming in from the dickhead, the person who created the lost opportunity and some kind of toxicity, the person who is bringing you truth. Okay. Same person, right? But they're admitting that they were an asshole to the three of swords in reverse. Second time wanting forgiveness, wanting to come out of heartbreak and wanting to have some optimism to at least bury the hatchet at least with the star card, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Okay. This is a message of somebody who was an asshole wanting to renew a situation with you. It's an apology. 
It is the sharing of emotions. It's the speaking of truth that requires you to make some kind of very big decision in your life. What was the problem? Well, the two of cups in reverse. There was a misalignment of values and a breakup in your situation. And justice in reverse comes in, injustice, and talks about um, the whole situation was a huge injustice, uh, um, dishonesty, unfairness, a lack of accountability, um, just, just, just dickhead moves by this king of wands in reverse, right? At one point, this was your king of wands upright, according to these cards. At one point, this person could do no wrong for you, Pisces, but somehow, some way, they did some shady shit and they turned in reverse, right? They turned upside down and they are not a very nice person in this card. But this person who caused this breakup um, is speaking their truth about the injustice that they have um, implemented, right? The injustice that they have caused in the situation in your life to you. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal is what this whole top row is about. Well, Pisces, this puts you in the energy of the Eight of Swords. This is a card about contemplating change, okay? Eights are about action, movement, change. Um, this is you, Pisces, contemplating movement, contemplating this change. It's you contemplating this whole top row that I just talked about, right? To the six of wands in reverse. This person was in a state of disrepute. This person had fallen from your good graces a good minute ago because they were all talk, no action, and full of a bunch of bullshit. And the whole damn thing was over. It was over. This is a card about being independent and self-sufficient. It's a card about a culmination, right? The whole thing was over. And, and dual purpose, right? Now they're bringing to a culmination. They're all talk, no action, undelivered promises, their state of disrepute. They want to bring that all to a culmination and have forgiveness and move forward with hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Planning for the future, progress, decisions, discovery to the Three of Pentacles in the center of your reading. No, I'm sorry, it's not in the center of your reading. Planning for the future, teamwork, collaboration, right? That's what's on the table. This is what they want. The Eight of Wands is in the center of your reading. This is about communication, action, movement, swift change, perhaps travel, but nevertheless an energetic shift. That's what's on the table. This is the center of your reading. This entire reading revolves around this communication that comes into you. There has been a breakdown in communication. You haven't been on the same page with this person in a good long minute. Princess of Pentacles. But now it's manifesting right? It's all manifesting. It's, it's manifesting. Look, the Prince of Pentacles, after a good long minute, after a good long minute, it's finally manifesting. The Nine of Wands in reverse says that you feel defensive, hesitant, apprehensive to, to trust this person. The sun in reverse, right? Not real optimistic that this is for real. Contemplating, thinking, reevaluating everything with the Four of Cups. Reevaluating, contemplating the loss, the regret, the disappointment, and the despair that this person has brought into your life in the past. The Five of Pentacles, right? Contemplating, reevaluating, being left out in the cold. And the Ten of Swords. 
contemplating and reevaluating the painful ending that has happened once before between the two of you. But lo and behold, the princess of wands, right? This is exploration, discovery, free spirit. This is, this is getting to know each other again, discovering each other again, exploring the possibility, exploring the potential, checking it out, right? Checking it out tentatively, but checking it out to death in reverse because somebody has had a personal transformation. Somebody, maybe it's you, maybe it's them. Somebody has had a personal transformation. And then the chariot comes on top of it and says this personal transformation is the catalyst for the movement forward, for the action, right? Lo and behold, followed by the tower in reverse, a personal transformation. This person or you or the relationship has had a transformation. At least that's what they say. The devil in reverse. This is the, uh, this is limiting beliefs. Okay. Limiting beliefs, limiting beliefs to the empress, the ace of wands in reverse and the 10 of wands. So limiting beliefs about the empress. What I think this is about is the person bringing this into you is telling you that they've had a personal transformation, that they have come to terms with their limiting beliefs about building abundance with you. You being the empress. Yeah, I know. It's not the card of Pisces. I don't give a shit about the signs, okay? In all honesty, I want to tell you all this. In a real tarot card reading, like a real tarot card reading with a psychic intuitive person, the signs mean nothing, okay? Before I started this whole YouTube thing, I've never used zodiac signs in a personal reading. So just saying, word, they don't mean shit, okay? So the empress, right? They see you as the empress and they have released their limiting beliefs about creating abundance with you, Pisces. The ace of wands in reverse. They are afraid that you, Pisces, as the empress, are lacking motivation, are lacking inspiration to reconnect with them because of the 10 of wands, because of the burden and the struggle that they have caused you, right? They're fully aware that their asshole actions as the king of wands in reverse has caused you tension and strife and conflict, burden and struggle, right? But they want it to be over. They want accomplishment. Ace of swords in reverse talks about, um, Lack of clarity, right? Just a, a lack of clarity. You're just, you just don't know, Pisces. You just don't know. You just don't know if this person is telling the truth, if this is something that is real. You just don't know because you've had so much pain in the past. You've had so much pain in the past with this person that you're just not sure if this is the real deal or not. Let me see if I can pull this up a minute. Hey, look at that. Nice. That's okay. That little bit of thing right there. That's okay. Okay. So you're just not sure. The four of pentacles, right? Lockdown. There's been a little bit of stability offered, right? A little bit of security, a little, but you know, this is also about being in lockdown mode because you're good like you are. And if you stand up to try to get more, you're going to lose what you already have. And I think that's part of the problem here, right? Is that you're good like you are. And if you reach for more with this person, you risk losing the, the, the stability that you have in your life already, 
right? Not to mention, like I said, represents a little bit of stability, a little bit of control, right? So this person's messages have brought a little bit of security to you. But the sun in reverse says you're just not very optimistic about the whole thing because, again, you've been through this before, right? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This is limited success or reward. You have had limited success and reward with this person from the past, Pisces. Look at all these. Okay? So you've had limited success or reward from the past. Overwhelmed. You feel very overwhelmed by this whole thing right here. To the Ace of Pentacles in reverse because it... It's a lost opportunity. You have made up your mind a long time ago that this was just a lost opportunity. Princess of Pentacles in reverse, right? Nothing's been making for a good long minute. Nothing's been making. Star in reverse, complete and total lack of faith in this relationship. A lack of faith. You're like, you know, I just, all I can think about all I can think about is the loss, the regret, the despair, leaving out in the cold, being left out in the cold, or having to leave him or her out in the cold, and the pain, the pain of the ultimate ending that happened between the two of you before. It's all you can think about, right? You have a lack of trust. You have a lack of faith. You're just not sure about this whole damn thing. Princess of Cups in reverse. There has been a creative block between the two of you for God only knows how long. Seven of Cups, right? Fantasy, illusion, wishful thinking, choices, options, decisions, right? I think it's wishful thinking, honestly, because it's followed by the King of Pentacles. Wishful thinking that you can ever have power, security, and control in a relationship with this person. Wishful thinking that they are going to have the integrity of the King of Pentacles. This is husband material right here. And it's, you have wishful thinking. It's just like, mm, yeah, I don't know. Hold on, I gotta get a drink. Shots of tequila. No, I'm kidding. It's iced tea. Hmm. Okay. So you have, you, you, you doubt right? You, it's wishful thinking that this person could ever be as committed as the King of Pentacles is. The Nine of Pentacles, right? Um, a culmination, self-sufficiency. Um, again, just like the Nine of Pentacles back here before, right? Right here, right? A culmination to the situation, self-sufficiency and independence. That's what you got right now, self-sufficiency and independence, fills you with some conflict to, to, to think about giving up what you have now in order to pursue this relationship, right? Because when we get into a relationship, we, we do, to a certain extent, have to give up our self-sufficiency and independence, right? To a certain extent, right? Um, don't ever give it all up. I'm going to tell you that right now. Man, woman, it doesn't matter. Do not ever give up your self-sufficiency and your independence for another person. Ever okay? That's just some Dane advice right there. The Five of Wands. You're filled with conflict. There's, there's, there's just it. The whole thing is just blowing your mind. The Nine of Wands, right? Courage, courage, to the King of Swords to make a decision, to execute a decision, to recover and regenerate this relationship. Ten of Wands in reverse. This card is about um, taking on too much, okay? It's about taking on too much. That's part of your concern is that are you going to invest yourself again in this whole situation? Are you taking on too much? Is this going to turn out to be the burden and the struggle that it was before? Nine of Swords in reverse, right? This is about feeling hopeless. 
It's about despair. This person really did a number on you in the past, Pisces. Really, really, really did a number on you in the past. And even though they're coming to you with this outpouring of emotion and apologies and wanting to set things straight again, you're just really not, you're just not sure, Pisces. Just not sure. Nine of Cups in reverse, right? Dissatisfaction. Just not sure. Injustice. Justice in reverse. There was such a grievous injustice done to you, Pisces. A grievous injustice. And it broke your heart hard. World card comes in, talks about a cycle change. Cycle change, right? This is a card about one chapter of your life ending and a new chapter of your life beginning, okay? And this is a major arcana. This is not negotiable, okay? One cycle of your life is going to end. One cycle of your life is going to begin, okay? It's your choice, your choice, what kind of cycle you go into, right? You can, the, the cycle that's going to end is the closure of this relationship, one way or another. One way or another, the old aspect of this relationship is going to close and a new aspect of this relationship is going to open, okay? Doesn't mean that you have to engage but what it does mean is that the dynamics are changing and the way that it was is over and the way that it will be is about to begin. Whether that's just healing and saying thanks but no thanks, that's the end of a cycle, right? Whether it's getting back together with this person and engaging and, and, and accepting an apology and reuniting with this person, that's a cycle, right? That's, that's your choice. You can choose either way to go. But I'll tell you what, some of y'all going to choose 10 of cups. Some of y'all are going to engage. Some of y'all are going to accept this apology and you are going to put forth the effort to create a harmonious, happy relationship with this person. The Prince of Swords, right? This is taking action. This is an action card, a mental action card. So you in your mental, some of you, whoever are choosing to choose the cycle on the right versus the cycle on the left, right? You are going to go forward. You're going to go forward to the Two of Pentacles. You're going to prioritize the King of Wands, right? Remember back here? He was in reverse, right? Because he used to be a dick, but he's had a personal transformation. So now he's not a dick anymore, right? Some of you are going to prioritize a relationship with the King of Wands. Male, female, doesn't matter. King of Wands. Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is about uh, spiritual poverty, right? Spiritual poverty to the seven of swords, lying, cheating, stealing, deceptive behavior, shady behavior, right? That's what this guy gave you, right? That's what this guy gave you. But this guy is promising the 10 of pentacles. This guy is promising foundation, future, family, wealth, establishment. You can take this guy to the bank, figuratively, maybe even literally, okay? This guy is a stand-up guy. This guy is the king of fire, the king of passion. Watch out, though. Watch out, though, because when when the king of wands upright, fire, right? It's, it's combustion, and it's consumable, right? Fire rages, and it needs something to eat in order to, to rage, right? And when this fire burns out and it starts smoldering, right? Smoldering in the hot coals and it's in and 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 it's its existence is threatened, 
it turns into this guy. The king of wands in reverse is smoldering ashes. The king of fire is an actively burning passion. Okay, so let's hope that this king of fire right here has some kind of balancing elements in his astrological chart, right? Just, just be aware of this guy because if he was this guy once before, he, he, he may, he may. Just be aware, Pisces, right? I'm not saying once a dick, always a dick. But what I am saying is be careful. Be careful. I just feel the need to tell you that. Just be careful, Pisces. Be careful with who you're dealing with, okay? Be careful with who you're dealing with. But it looks like some of y'all are going to go forward and create or at least attempt to create a Ten of Pentacles relationship and come out of sorrow, come out of heartbreak, and uh, turn this injustice around into justice. Okay, Pisces, that was your reading. I do hope it resonated. Again, you might see yourself in this, but it's not your reading. Do not make any life-altering decisions based on my general tarot card readings or anybody else's, okay? It's extremely important. I love you. Namaste.